kick off our National Sign and Day Academy. Tayson Farrar cross country at Southern Virginia University and Kendall Lim track and field at Texas State. I just love the community there. They're all super sweet and friendly and they, it felt like home. I believe so. I think I'm going to love it and enjoy my time and probably want more time there. This is going to be one of the days that I'll remember for the rest of my life. You know, I'm, I'm making it official that I'm going down to the Valley and I'm uh, hoping to make a, a great impact there in, a, in that startup program. And let's go to Bernie Champion, where at least eight student athletes signed a letter of intent, including Riley Muris. She will take her softball skills to Guilford College. Kieran Garris is heading off to Army West Point for football. Kaylee Kepler will dance at Blinn College. Brian Davis will head overseas for soccer at University of Chester. And Gage Goldberg football at the University of Colorado. I mean, this is awesome. Like, I mean, I get to sign my final letter of intent to Colorado, and this whole process can be over, and I'm going to be 100% Colorado. And how about Cooper Kennel, who's going to East Texas Baptist University for bass fishing? It's a special day for that charger and his family. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm first one in Bernie to ever get one, so it's a great opportunity, and hopefully I can expand on it in college and maybe fish professionally one day. Um, bass fishing's taken off, and um, it's become one of the fastest growing sports in college. It was a sweet day at Sam Houston High School, home of the Hurricanes, as we continue our National Signing Day coverage. The Canes had five football players put pen to paper as those young men will continue their education and football careers at the next level. I'm talking about Matthew Alvarez, JV on Harper, Frank Riggins, Jeremiah Espithia, and Jaden Cervantes. Today, I'm just really excited to come out, and it's a blessing to be chosen to, you know, play at the next level. I heard that it's only like a really small percentage of high school athletes that make it to the next level. And I'm just truly blessed to be one of them. It's a blessing to make it to the next level and to be playing at the next level. You know, like it took a lot of grinding, and hard work for it to get to this to get to the next level and to be where I'm at right now. Very excited. It's always been a dream come true to go to the next level and extend my academic career. I'm going to Mount San Antonio. It's in Walnut, California. It's a little far from home, but you got to make sacrifices, do what you want to go where you want to go. It feel good, really. I'm, I'm, I'm a mom of the boy, so it, it feel a little good, but I'm going to be missing home a little bit. I love that sound bite. Let's head out to the den at Davenport High School to highlight more awesome student athletes. The Wolves had a total of eight young men and women put pen to paper as all their hard work is certainly paying off. KSAT 12 Sports' Mary Romanger was there, and she has more. Larry, Davenport is one of the newer schools to the UIL scene, but the Wolves athletic programs hardly needed an adjustment period. On signing day, eight Wolves seniors put ink to paper, also representing the first class to go through Davenport all four years. I'm the first four year senior, so we haven't really had a team until this year. The way Davenport, the environment is now, like we did that, and I'm super happy to say that we started like all these traditions. We kind of put ourselves on the map a lot, and so more and more coaches started, okay, let me see who Davenport is, and um, so I'm just happy that we put ourselves on the map. You really can't do anything without your team, and we really experienced that this year. And you know, winning a state title, it was it was such a team effort, and everyone was bought in. And you really just have to work together, and it's so great to leave that behind. Those eight seniors have surely left a one of a kind legacy. From Davenport High School, Mary Rominger, KSAT 12 Sports. We continue our National Signing Day coverage at Seguin High School, where this morning six student athletes signed their letters of intent to play at the next level. This is always a fun day for the sports department. Kendall Hurt will play softball at Lamar State College. Her teammate Madison Schultz will be on the Diamond Out and Corner Word next year, along with football players John Jackson, Cooper Newman, Jackson Pond, and Donovan Cray, who are all thankful for their families. They've been a really good support system, and I think that's really good for us. And we're so excited because when nobody's played softball like in college in my family, so I'll be the first one, and that's really exciting for us. I'm very proud, you know, just you know, rep the last name with a stamp, you know, just put on for my family. It really like all goes like towards them because they really like pushed me to do my best. I'm one of the first to get to go play college football, and hopefully I can finish it all and come out with a degree. Graduating college will be big for my family, so just making them proud will be a very special moment for me. Steel High School had 10 plus kids sign their letters of intent, doing it all big and fancy. So we sent KSAT 12 Sports Nick Mantis out there to chat with the Knights on their big day. 
One of the biggest signings in the San Antonio area was right here at Still High School as a range of athletes from all these different kinds of sports signed their letters of intent to go play at the next level. One of the questions we wanted to make sure to ask them was, what was the main reason you chose your school? I was like really impressed by the coaches because that's the biggest thing, like just the relationship they had with me and my family. So they were always persistent and just showing love. So I feel like more than like any other school, they showed the most interest. I had two offers, two Z3 offers where I could play both basketball and soccer. And I definitely thought that that was definitely what I wanted because I couldn't do just one without the other. I'm a family guy, so I want to be able to stay close and see family whenever I need to. and. Just I went and coaches, favorite coaches I met, great facilities, great school in general. Well, as you can see behind me, we got friends and family taking pictures and enjoying the moment with their loved ones. As most of the athletes that we talked to throughout the entire day said that their families, their friends, their teammates, their support systems is a reason why they're here signing a national letter of intent. From Steele High School, Nick Mantis, KSAT 12 Sports. Thank you very much, Nick. Southwest Legacy signings coming up after the break. The auditorium at Southwest Legacy High School was packed with students eager to cheer on the Titans' three signees. Middle blocker Abigail Soto will play volleyball at Cedar Valley College. Anthony Zapata will join the UIW cross country and track and field programs. And third baseman Anaya Torres will play softball at Ranger College. You know, it never gets old seeing the smiles on the students and their parents' faces and sometimes some tears reaping the benefits of their hard work and dedication. It was honestly a surreal moment. Like, like I said in my speech, like, it's, like, this was like a dream come true. Like, I had dreamed of this ever since I was a kid. And to be on that stage and sign that letter, like, it was just a lot of emotions running through me in that moment. It means a lot. And I hope um, it leaves a mark on everyone here that it makes them want to work harder in life to get where they want and to achieve their goals. Um, but it, it means a lot, like, to have a lot of people out here and support me. Or I hope it touched their hearts in a way. All three signees hope their successes will encourage their peers to do the same. And we have two more high schools to feature tomorrow. That's Madison and Brennan. We got to them today. I just didn't have enough time to get them all in. You guys were all over the place today. I love it, too. Yeah, I do, too. I'm glad that we did this. It's, yeah. it's an exciting time of year for those kids and their families. Sure is. Awesome. We'll be right back.